Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll see how to create a word search puzzle in Excel using VBA macros. I have a new workbook here and I have already formatted the worksheet and I have added here a few words. So it's altogether 10 words for this uh, example and we will be searching for sports. So let's move into the v Visual Basic Editor and insert a new module. And we will create our first macro, we're gonna call it get words. So we're gonna get the words from that list I just show you. So, but before that, let's just um, remove the contents in the in the grid and, and the range we're gonna use is B2 to U17. So we clear the contents and then we start a for each loop and for each cell in range A8 two so that's exactly here where the first word starts um current region that's going to take the whole range so for each uh, cell we we get the value of the cell into a variable which is going to be word and then i'll have another uh, a variable here i'll call it word length which stands for word length, and it's gonna have, using the len function, it's gonna have the, the length of the word. Um, I'm gonna declare these two variables up here at the module level, because we're gonna use them um, in other procedures as an integer. Okay, and then we will call another procedure, which is gonna be add word, next cell. When we're done with adding all the words, we will yet call another procedure, which is gonna be um, add other letters. But we will do that at the end. So for now, I'm gonna comment that. And before we continue, let me show you how that works. So I'm gonna introduce a message box here to show the word and uh, a separator and the word length. So let's play it. So it starts with the first word, basketball, and the word length is 10, so 10 letters. Continues to the next, baseball, eight letters, football, and it continues all the way down through the range, okay? So I'm gonna remove that. That was only for explanation purposes and, and comment this. And now, um, sub add word. The first thing we'll do here is to set the word direction. And for that, I have introduced two variables, and that's the integer row increment. Row increment stands for row increment. It's the integer of a random number between minus one and one, and plus one. So there are three options, minus one, zero, and plus one. And exactly the same for column increment. Let me add here the randomized function, and we are gonna put this in a loop because we kind of have the situation where both row increment and column increment are uh, zero. So loop until row increment is different than zero and column increment is different than zero. Okay, so that means um, if row increment is, let's say, plus one and column increment is zero, the word is gonna be placed in this direction. So row is gonna increment by one, column is not gonna increment. Now we start a loop to check the word placement. So do loop, randomize. We're gonna place the, the words letter by letter. So the first letter we will, will be in row start and row column. So again, we set variables, um, random variables here, and row star will be a value between two and 17 for, for the rows. Uh, that's the, the, the range here. And the same for column star, it will be an integer of a random number between, um, in this case, and 22 so that's why we use 20 and now if cells row start call start is empty then we can check if the word can be placed 
um, depending on the word length and the, the direction that we've, we've chosen earlier. So that's if the row start plus word length times the row increment is greater than 1 and lower than 18 and the call start plus again the same the word length times the call increment is greater than 1 and lower than 22 then we're gonna set two new variables row start that we will use in the next procedure and we're gonna call here check add word procedure that procedure will give us a, a variable a boolean variable which will be true or false it will be true if we can place the the word so if can add word we're gonna call it can add word is true then we will finally place the the word and we will call yet another procedure to add the letters of that word add word letters and exit the do loop and if uh, otherwise if if the can add word is false then we will loop and we will choose again random values and, and go through the whole process again so let me end the if statement here and get the other if statement and close the loop and before we start the next procedure let's declare all the variables up here now let's start here sub check add word and we will have here a loop from one to word length and this is going to check if cells i row i column is empty or the value is exactly the letter in in the word so the same letter in our word e comma one using the meet function then we can continue looping and we will increment um, i row by the row increment and we will increment i call by the column increment but else then we will set can add word equals false which is, is false by default because a boolean variable is false by default but we make sure that way that it's false and we exit the sap and if but if it goes through the whole um, for loop without any problem then can add word is going to be true okay so up here uh, it will be true and it will call the next procedure and we're gonna add that here so the sub add word letters is gonna again loop from one to the word length and is going to say um, cells row start comma call start value is going to be using the mid function again the middle of the word in letter i and one single letter okay and then we're going to um, increment row start plus the row increment and the same for column start plus the call increment and in this way it's gonna add all the letters to the range okay and before we check how that works we need to add up here the cannot word boolean variable in the general declaration section so let's play now and see 
how that looks like. So he has placed all the 10 words here. You can see uh, his basketball, his hockey. So um, in a random location, if we play it again, we, we can see it has done the same in different locations and making sure that they fit into the range. So now the last thing we want to do is to add other letters. Okay, so I'm gonna uncomment this here and let's go down and that will be the last macro. So add other letters and here we're gonna start a loop for each loop for each other cell, we can call it, in the range B2 to U17, but special cells only XL um, cell type blanks, this one here, only the blanks. We're gonna have again a, a random um, number to the variable other letter, and this is gonna be um, an integer between um, 90 and 65 times RD plus 65 and that's a number that's going to be a random number between 65 and 90 because that's the range of the of the capital letters in in the characters that we're going to get so other cell dot value is going to be the character function of other letter next other cell. Let's see now how that works. I'm going to play again the macro here and there you go. We have now the word search including the letters here and that's how we create a word search puzzle in Excel using VBA macros. Thanks for watching.